Hello, welcome back. This is the DICE bonus video, uh, talking about all the physical RPGs and the digital uh, PDFs of them. I was already getting quite long, so uh, talking about DICE is going in a separate little uh, little extra. So there we go, DICE. Uh -huh. um, I've got my uh, tripod out for this. Uh, hopefully once it, it stabilizes. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I have like DICE and, and other paraphernalia, role-playing uh, paraphernalia. Um, which is an important part of role-playing games. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, uh, these dice are part of a set. Uh, most expensive dice I have because at one point I thought like, oh yeah, let's get a nice expensive dice set. Uh, here we go. They're they're metal. Um, uh, they're quite pretty. Um, gold and purple. Uh, lavish. Um, yeah, they're quite cool. Uh, they um, they roll quite nicely as well. So, um, yes, as you can see, as you can hear, uh, fantastic sound as well. So those are the, um, uh, the pricey ones. Uh, I mean, what else do we have? We, we have, I, I have so many dice, it's, uh, it's hard to know where to start. The, the stuff that I use the most goes into, um, obviously my, my little uh, baggies, uh, these little things. So they're actually from um, a shop, Nomads in Cambridge. Um, which uh, do these um, little, I guess, jewelry uh, pouches, but they are actually perfect dice bags. Uh, so there we go. So uh, D100s, uh, D100s obviously uh, formed by having two D10s, one with the tens, one with the units. Um, and uh, these I would typically use uh, for uh, Warhammer Fantasy um, or Warhammer 40K at role playing or any other D100 system. Um, but I've got a, a few sets of, of matched ones in different colors. Uh, helps to sort of get it into character for having a, uh, a matched set of dice. So I've got those. Uh, they're not all in there because for my actual current game of uh, Warhammer Fantasy, uh, I, have, I have these. Uh, plus actually, normally in them is the, the two fancy ones. Um, but yeah, here we go. Uh, we've got some colors for um, uh, Zinch, Slanesh, um, Nurgle, uh, and corn, uh, because we're fighting the chaos gods. So there you go. Uh, that is those. Um, some other ones uh, that I will have. Uh, so this is for the um, Cathay game where we roll uh, lots of uh, d10s together uh, in a set um, and and see what matches. Um, uh, and a couple of different colored dice for uh, the river. So that's like a a, a spare a, a spare pair. Um, matching pair that you have uh, that you can bring into um, uh, to a roll. So if you've succeeded previously, but like really, really well, uh, you can roll that forward to an advantage later on. So uh, yeah, that's just a load of d10s. Uh, d10s are kind of like the dice, the die that has followed me around my entire gaming life in one way or another. Um, uh, this is a load of uh, d6s, uh, I believe, for the most part, uh, along with some uh, D10s, uh, use this for the, the one ring and a few other things, uh, a rare shut up and sit down dice from when they did their um, gold bags, um, but yeah, uh, a few sets there. Uh, I think that's all my current uh, baggies. Um, uh, then we have various sets, so you, you may get an impression of a colour that I like, um, but uh, yeah. There it is. This is kind of like the the dice from a um, a full D and D D twenty set, um, but that's the easiest way usually to 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 buy them, apart from from specialist stuff. But I have so many dice, but sometimes I can't resist getting some some nice colours. I actually lost lost a uh, pair of really nice purple dice, so I had to try and replace them. Um, uh, as you can see, endlessly with different stuff. So this is just a set of D tens. Uh, again, D10 is always useful to have. If you're playing like Exalted as well, I'm uh, going to be using these a lot. Um, not played Exalted for a while, um, actually. Um, uh, these are cool. Uh, I think these came like as a as a random um, like one-off with the Chessex um, pound of dice. Um, the pound of dice now being distributed into the baggies. I mean, let's let's go into that. Um, Pound of dice. Uh, what did that end up as? Well, uh, this is the D4s. 
This is the D12s. Yeah, loads of D12s. Uh, useful for some systems. Um, sort of. Can't remember what exactly. There, there is something that D12s are specifically useful for. Um, D20s, lots of D20s. So uh, these are obviously handy for um, your uh, 2D20s, so your Modiphius games, Infinity, Star Trek. Uh, brings out quite a lot, but I've got some D20s distributed uh, elsewhere. Um, these are the D... Uh, more D12s? Another set of D12s? Sure, uh, like, I guess I guess that's how I roll. Um, I didn't think this is like the simple D12s. Um, again, for some nefarious purpose, but obviously, you know, when you have a pound of dice, this is, this is what you get. Um, uh, D8s, now, uh, are these D D8s? No, these are D10s, these are definitely D10s. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, look at this, there's some, some wonderful colors here. Obviously, these are kind of like uh, uh, an odd selection. I've, select, I've, I've picked out the ones that I, I really like from it. Uh, but look, that's actually kind of gorgeous. Um, so sort of beautiful, beautiful coloring uh, on a die. Um, but yeah, uh, kind of cool. I have some D10s, D100s. Uh, don't know where the D8s have gone, where they're hiding. Uh, more D20s, plain D20s. Uh, again, useful to have. Uh, yeah, did I, did I skip out on the D8s, or, or are they just in a... I don't want to lose lose my possession of D8s, because, you know, you never know when you need the D8s. Uh, these are odds and sods D6s, because they're, they're usually, again, they're, they're ones that you can buy as a, uh, as a whole uh, dice block. Um, but you get the occasional one, uh, occasional random uh, set. Uh, these are D8s, yes! Get in, D8s. These guys. Love them. Uh, love the D8s. Uh, pens keep on slipping away. Um, I mean, quick, quick side. I mean, pens, always useful to have for RPGs. Pencils, even more, even more useful to have. Uh, character sheets and stuff, always have a supply of them. Um, Paper, these these papermate uh, uh, pencils are actually my favourite. The papermate pens these are are actually pretty great as well. Top class. Um, now what else do we have before we get on to uh, cool and weird dice? Uh, yep. Okay. So these are uh, legacy d sixes. Uh, so for playing um, uh, uh, the the legacy games that's uh, mainly d6, but obviously d6s can be used for a lot of stuff. But they're they're really nice custom dice, I like those, uh, and the uh, the one ring. Um, so these are from the the free league Kickstarter, um, and uh, they have they are technically d6s, but they they actually have like a special symbol. So the six um, is like a uh, got the uh, there. Um, kind of the, the critical role, and then the other one is that the uh, D12s that you use, um, there is um, a Gandalf rune and a Sauron rune. Sauron and Gandalf, which are supposed to replace uh, 11 and 12, I think, um, but uh, instead of one, uh, these have actually got 11 printed on them, which they shouldn't. This should be a 1. So these are a, a special unique dice. Um, uh, I think people got very, very upset about this, but it's it's really not. like You, that's just, you just count that as a 1. But everyone who wants apparently gets replacement dice. So there you go. Nice, cool, uh, black Sauron uh, one ring dice. Uh, nice. Uh, obviously just from the new Kickstarter, so. Um, and then we have uh, D6s, uh, so obviously if you want to play some um, uh, Warhammer Tabletop um, battle game, uh, D6s, you want to have, obviously I don't have the scatter dice, because I don't really play Warhammer anymore, but uh, D6s, I actually use these mostly for Fiasco, which you do need two sets of differently colored D6s. Um, I also kind of like love these, these gray, gray and gold, like these are, these are beautiful. Um, chess sets. Uh, the, the, these these are actually uh, Games Workshop uh, white dice, so treasured. 
uh, from, from a long time ago. Uh, let's go through these odd dice because they're they're kind of funny. Uh, got these from a from a these from a weird Kickstarter which was uh, odd sided dice. So this is a D fifteen. Yeah, there we go. So they roll and then you read uh, whatever's off the top, uh, odd number of faces. Uh, this is a D thirteen, D eleven, D thirteen. Um, then yeah, uh, D nine I think. Uh, D7, an, an odd D5, um, and you know, Roman numerals um, D3, but it's just a D6 with unusual size, and this is a D7. Yeah. Uh, so you yeah, go, kind of, kind of cool, weird dice, like, why not? When am I ever going to use them? The answer is never. Do I want to have um, uh, odd? sided dice yes absolutely cool uh and and yeah in here like there is just a selection of um weird odd dice you you might be thankful for occasionally um so for example uh, hit location dice um if you want to obviously systems tend to have a table for this but if you want to randomly determine where someone was hit hey that's pretty cool um, want to determine a um, random month? Uh, obviously, a D12 is is your friend here. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um, want to know about a day of the week? Hey, there's a this is a, a D7. It's pretty cool. Yeah, just roll, see if it's Tuesday. Um, compass directions, wind directions. Again, if you want to as a GM randomize that, it's really handy uh, uh, to have. Um, plus or minus. Uh, these are technically from a, a game that, that, that uses this because they're not on all faces. Uh, but I thought it was just handy to have positive, negative, or, or neutral. Uh, and then some weather dice. Again, randomly determine what kind of weather it is. Uh, is it sunny? Uh, is it sunny, sunny with clouds? Um, or is it actually a, a, a thunderstorm? Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, very, very random dice. Uh, now we come on to, uh, yeah, I've got a set of googly eyes in here, spilling out. Do, 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 what do you need googly eyes for? It doesn't matter, you need googly eyes, just in case. Um, and also a rogue d20. Uh, that probably belongs in one of the d20 baggies. Uh, okay, so these are the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 3rd Edition uh, dice, very important, uh, very hard to get hold of now, so again, I'm glad that I have all these. Uh, and this is kind of where the narrative dice started. Uh, so you have um, like uh, your ability dice, um, are the blue ones. Uh, you have your uh, enemy dice, so or like the challenge rating, which are the, the purples. And then you have uh, greens um, or reds, depending on what stance you are in. Um, and I think yellows as well. Um, and then you have black and white sort of boost dice for sort of small advantages. And then you roll them and you read off the symbols and you see if you've succeeded. And you've got, you know, the Sigma hammer and so on, but then you have like the delay, which is it takes you longer to do something. Um, on the red ones, you've got a, um, a blood drop, which is uh, it, it strains you to do something, because you're an aggressive, etc., etc. That's kind of how, how that aggressive and um, stance-based thing was born. But then it developed into Star Wars narrative dice, which kind of simplified things a little bit. And so you have you have your sort of green normal dice, positive dice. You have your uh, purple negative dice, which have failures and setbacks on them. Um, and then you have uh, blue and black, um, like extra little bits. And then the reds and yellows are just upgrades of the green and purple respectively. Um, but the reds have criticals, triumphs uh, on them, um, and the reds have despairs. 
bad criticals uh, on them. So, um, so there's, there's there's only a chance of those to roll depending on if you're using appropriate skills. But these these give you a, a narrative um, a narrative effect uh, when you roll them, and they are really really cool. Uh, but obviously they have been further perfected, refined. These are actually exactly the same, just the the colors the colors and symbols are slightly different. I know people who struggle with the symbols. I think they are slightly better on Genesis uh, than they were on. Um, uh, on the Star Wars, uh, so here the hits are kind of the more traditional hit marker. Um, the 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 failures are the cross, um, and then the orthogonal uh, stuff. So like advantages, um, and the disadvantages are kind of okay. They're both triangular, um, and then the the criticals uh, are uh, like the 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 success or failure, but with extra embellishment on them. Uh, so that's that's the narrative dice. I love the narrative dice. Uh, there's a few more things of possible note in here. Um, uh, so sleeves, in case you need them. Uh, endless number of baggies. Uh, these are strewn absolutely everywhere. Post-it notes, obviously. Uh, they're very useful. But what I do also have is these magic cards. Mike, who's Mike? We'll never know. Uh, but these are basically whiteboard cards, so you can write on them in whiteboard marker, and they have little uh, standees. So you can uh, use these for um, great success. Ta-da! Um, obviously, they wipe off like whiteboard. Uh, I've used these on occasion as GMing, especially when relative positioning is useful. Um, they're great for stuff like uh, Genesis, um, uh, Warhammer. Um, but yeah, you can like draw little maps on them. You can put out little information on them, reminders for players. Um, I've 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 generally found them to be to be to be overall really really handy. And I've got a set of. Uh, Few different sets of, of cards, two sets of, of smaller cards. Uh, I've got a set of, of larger ones as well. Uh, I think they're really neat. Obviously, I've also got for stuff like Fiasco and so on uh, a bunch of your ruled uh, card. Always good to have, uh, as well as the post its. Um, and I think. Finally, aside from all the pens, uh, I have uh, a few other like models and bits. Um, I have from the Infinity Kickstarter a um, an Infinity model. Uh, so this is a a Khan, I think. There you go. Um, I have from the recent uh, Fate Forge um, and. Shadows of Estrin Kickstarter. I have these little wonderful models. I'll also just put them all in, in one baggie, frankly. Um, but they are uh, familiars. Uh, so you have a little piggy, oink oink, um, giant space pig, uh, giant miniature uh, space pig, a squirrel! Look at him, he's so cool. He's a little squirrel. Yes, squirrel. Um, and a uh, flying cat with a sword, which is a rare genre of model, but there you go, flying cat with a sword. Um, and uh, I guess the, the last of those uh, bitty bits is also from the uh, that that Kickstarter. Well, not, not all of this is from the... the um, Kickstarter for uh, Shadows of Estrin, um, but obviously the, the Estrin dice that you need um, are per player, just a, a d10 and a, a d20, that's that's all you need to resolve everything. Uh, sorry, a, a d10 for, for Estrin, d20 for, for Fate Forge, but uh, there you go, a silver uh, Estrin uh, Celtic d10. Um, and a Fate Forge, 
um, D20. Uh, but I've also got these, uh, as they are called, dowels, which is the currency um, of uh, Tricazel, uh, the setting for Shadows of Estrin. Um, and they're basically little coins, but they are uh, triangular and with holes in them. Um, so you have um, uh, Azure dowels, um, uh, which are the blue ones. You have Silver dowels. There's a little bit of different colouring. Frost, sorry, fr frost dowels, uh, which you have there. Uh, these are all uh, slightly different colourings of, of azure dowels, but they're basically found the thunder and blue. Uh, and then ember dowels, fire dowels, uh, which are copper. Uh, I just love that. Just a little bit of, of currency. Um, we can be used as, as obviously different coloured tokens and so on. Handy for that. Um, yeah, that's it. That's that's all of my dice, um, all of my um, uh, majestic, uh, everything different, purple, and other coloured dice. Um, so yeah, thanks very much.